Hi, my name's Jack. I'm an applications engineer at National Instruments and in the past week I've been designing and building a small project with an accompanying tutorial called MyThrust which uses the National Instruments hardware MyDAC and basically what we've got here is an automated test platform for characterising the thrust given off by any motor and propeller. The motivation for creating this test platform came in a previous project that me and the team were involved in where we built a flying pod. Before I show you the system in action, let's have a look at the system overview. At the bottom down here we have our motor, which at peak speeds can draw about 25 amps. So this is much more than the MIDAC can offer, so we use an electronic speed controller and a battery to supply and control the amount of power and therefore the speed sent to the motor. This is interfaced with the MIDAC via one of its digital terminals where it's provided with a PWM signal to control speed. To measure thrust, I've used a load cell which has two strain gauges built into it in a Wheatstone bridge configuration. The signal from this circuit changes only very slightly with changes to thrust, so an amplification stage is needed before being read by the MIDAC. To do this, I built a simple instrumentation amplifier on some breadboard to get a signal in the range accepted by the analog input channels of the MIDAC. Not on the system overview, but definitely a key part of the project, we have the test rig which is made to provide a stable platform to attach a load cell and motor to. OK, so let's have a look at the system in action. In my project window, I've got my main VI, the sub VIs that it calls, and then also the scale that's used to convert the analog input from the load cell amplifier into a force in grams. Looking at my main VI, I have two drop-down boxes here to select the counter and the analog input channels I'm going to be using, and on running, the VI, we can see live data from the load cell which changes as I push on the propeller. After changes of motor and propeller, I can zero the scale to recalibrate before testing, and we can do manual testing where I can change by hand the output speed of the motor, and for safety reasons, we can kill the motor power and disable manual control completely. The last feature is through this new test button where I'm prompted to enter my motor name and the propeller that I'm using and then on giving the command of props clear it runs a complete test to characterize the motor and propeller. So a very useful test, we can see that between this point here and this point here, the response for the motor is roughly linear. Down here we have a table of results and analysis, we can see that the max thrust from the motor was about 254 grams, and that between 17% and 90% motor power, the response was pretty much linear. We can now click this button to go back to live data, or toggle to go back to the test data. Thank you for watching the video. Please follow the links coming up to my community page where you can download the project tutorial and also all of the code used in the project which you can use for your reference or even to build upon further.